How's it going, YouTube? Nevin Ka, back again with another run of The Binding of Isaac. Last time, my backstory run slash Judas run was cut short by my own hubris. So, I'm at it again. This time, a humbled and more sensible man. I've been just doing the whole character rotation, so I played a game as Isaac, Magdalene, Kane. I did my sad story of Judas. I had such good items, too. I'm still disappointed by that. But... Even though I hate these last three characters, and I would rather never touch them ever again, uh, I will play as them for your enjoyment. Um, you can thank me later. Send all your checks to Mevenkai Industries. No, that's not... I'm just kidding. That's not actually a company name. That's not real. Please don't send any checks there. You'll be sorely disappointed when I don't get any money. And you know I'll be disappointed too. Um, so, we're going to play as Eve. I hate Eve. There's a few reasons why. Uh, even though she has pretty okay health and speed, her damage is terrible. Not only is her damage terrible, the items she starts with are terrible as well because they require that she take damage for them to be useful. Um, the first item that she has is Eve's, uh, is called the bird, or the, the dead bird? Yeah, it's the dead bird. Um, you can kind of see it in her hair. Uh, but uh, basically, when I take damage, the bird will come out and hit things. And you know, it wouldn't be the worst item in the world if it had better AI. I just think that... Like, one of the problems is that if you if the bird comes out and it's hitting stuff, it'll usually just fly right back to where you are, even though um, even though there might be other enemies, like, kind of nearby. And you have to get close to enemies again for it to, like, do anything. Like, oh, I just traded a bomb and a key for three cents. That was definitely not worth it. Little Chubby. I haven't, been, haven't had this item in a while. Um, but anyway, so the little bird doesn't have the... It doesn't really have the best AI, so it's not a very helpful item because you still have to get really close to things to, like, use it. See, like, right now... Okay, good. So it is going to fly and hit that thing, but it doesn't always treat me so kindly. Uh, we're going to fight Monstro as our first boss. Um, oh, it's a champion version, although this one, I don't... I feel like he just shoots, like, some bigger globs, but, like, he doesn't really do anything differently. He might not ever jump up. I think that might be one of his deals. Like, he doesn't fly into the air like normal Monstro does. He just shoots his normal thingies. Little Chub is doing work today against this guy. Alright, Magic 8 Ball. Tears up. Two of hearts. Doubles my health. That'll be useful since my items are contingent on me getting hit with shit. Um, her second item that she starts with it, she starts with two. They're both garbage, though. Well, not necessarily... Well, the bird is garbage, but the other one isn't. She starts with the Whore of Babylon. The Whore of Babylon, basically... Uh, really? I was... The only reason I took damage there was because I thought my chub would kill all of them in, like, one hit. But that did not happen. Um, so anyway, the Whore of Babylon, the way it works is... When I get down to a half a heart, I believe it is... Uh, I get a damage increase and a speed increase... And I turn into this horrible looking demon thing. Uh, and if you know your biblical literature well, that's because I've turned into the Whore of Babylon. And nobody likes that person, I guess. Wow, I got a spirit heart and lost it in the next room. See, look at that dead bird being so useful. I don't want to get any closer to these dudes, but the dead bird is just going to refuse to be helpful. There, dead bird, make yourself useful, please. Please. For everyone's sake. Alright, let's wait for these guys to sort of get into a line. Do a shit ton of damage. Uh, hit this guy. Do a shit ton of damage. Uh, yeah, I could use a key, man. That would, that'd be nice. Uh, I should probably do some more backstory about myself because I didn't really do very much of that in the first one outside of my awesome slash terrifying dream, depending on how strongly you feel about, you feel about Black Widow and how strongly you feel about, uh, spider people. Uh, but in any case, um... So what's there to say about me? Uh, I like spicy food. Um, part of the reason why is because I've had to eat a lot of shitty food um, because I live in a dorm. Um, and not just in a dorm for, for the school year. I worked as an RA at a summer camp at a college um, in in high school. Or not in high school. The summer before, uh, This was last summer. And we had to eat the dorm food that was provided. And it was kind of terrible. And I just got in the habit of buying the foods they didn't taste like anything, really. Um, because the foods that don't taste like anything, you can douse in Tabasco sauce, and then it tastes like de delicious, delicious Tabasco, which is far preferential to... to whatever the shit is that I'm eating. 
Um, so yeah, when I go get breakfast in the cafeteria downstairs, I just get like potatoes and eggs and meat, and then I just load up on Tabasco sauce so bad that my friends who are sitting like five feet away can smell it usually. Um, like I went to a Thai restaurant and they, their scale for heat goes like one to five. I ordered a 10 uh, and it kind of, they didn't really know what to do with my order when I said that. Oh my god, I'm just taking so much damage. But you know what, I don't care because I'm fucking Eve and I suck because I'm Eve. Oh my goodness, I am the fucking worst. I keep trying to line up my, my little chub shot and that's what's causing me to take all this damage because, uh, because, oh, that's fine. Uh, coin purse, let's see if this is useful at all. Pretty fly, I got two pretty fly pills, that's kind of cool. Um, what's this one? Full health, that's a great pill, I'm very glad I got that. Telepills, uh, that's kind of a useless pill. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna blow this wall up and see if it's the secret room. And it totally is. I will play this thing a couple times because it would be a total waste to not stay asleep. Yeah, thanks, fortune teller machine. I'll just go do that. Burnt penny, not the worst trinket ever. I will leave. When I pick up, when I pick up pennies now, I'll get a half, a 50% chance of getting a bomb as well, which is pretty nice. Um, no key, which is a fucking travesty because it means I don't get to go to the item room. So Kevin Ma is very sad. But down we go to the caves. Um, you win some, you lose some in this game, that's for sure. Um, yeah, little Chub, doing work. Man, this is really disappointing. As Eve, you really can't afford to just, like, miss items. Uh, because your base stats are so terrible. Um, these eyeless worm guys are far easier to their, compared to their eyed compatriots. Um, you know, it kind of makes you wonder what the hell is going on in this basement. Like, it goes down to, like, a cave, and then... Eventually it turns into a womb and just all kinds of nonsense. You know, in interviews, the guy who made this game, Edgar McMillan, just says, like, it just, like, escalated so quickly. Like, they just put layers and layers and layers into this game of, like, different levels and just, like, it just got pretty silly pretty quickly. Um, I picked up a bomb there. That was nice. Oh, I have a Skype message. I should probably go check that, huh? Um, who could be messaging Mevin Call on Skype? Uh, let's see here. Come on, little chub! Um, so yeah, I love spicy food. That's one thing. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else? I like, uh... I like candy. I have a, I have a bag of, of Skittles, Wildberry, on my desk right now. Oh, good, I got a key now, so now I can actually go into a fucking item room. Um, and if I was a betting man, I'd say it was down there in the right hand side of the map um hopefully this next room will take us there nope still gotta wade through a couple of extra rooms uh wow chub missed completely chub i wish chub were more useful than he actually is because the way to use him most effectively is to like wait but that means i have to wait and stop shooting which isn't always what i want to do um and plus he misses all the fucking time because his trajectory adjusts very sensitively based on where you're shooting I will take that extra bomb. Still no sign of the item room. We have a missing item room. Send out the amber alerts. Ah, there it is. Okay, good. This room was not very hard at all. Let's, uh, let's see here. What else is there to say about me as I trudge along here as my, one of my least favorite characters of all time? Uh, let's see here. Wow, man, I'm just stuck. Like, I don't know what to say as commentary, folks. If you have any ideas for future commentary, like, you know, I want to hear a story about, you know, the first time that I uh, got arrested by the police. Actually, you know, the you know, first time I got arrested by the police? I've never been arrested by the police. But I almost got shot by a cop once, actually. True story. I was, uh, I was in... Fuck, I was in, uh... Probably, like, freshman year of high school? Nope, not there. Uh, freshman year of high school, my father was driving me to, uh, oh, gotta go in here first. Really? Come on, man. Breaking my heart. Uh, my father was driving me to, like, um, like, piano lessons or something like that. I can't remember anymore. Uh, and, uh, so, so we're on the way, and my dad, like, we're, we're, we're like, driving or whatever. He's, like, driving me, and I'm just, like, sitting there. It's, like, Saturday morning, because I had the worst time slot ever for lessons. Uh, and... 
So yeah, like we're driving, this cop like flashes his lights, and my dad's like, oh crap. Like that's the worst. But he's just like, you know, I don't care, we're almost there, so I'm just gonna keep driving, and then I'll let you go to your lessons, and then I will deal with the cop myself without you having to be there, because I don't want to waste your time. And I was like, okay, Dad, that's cool, but you're, like, not addressing a cop immediately, which is a little scary. But I didn't really think too much about it. I just got Little Chad. This is the first time I've gotten both Little Chubby and Little Chad. Um, anyway, so my dad's like, okay, so we get to the place where I'm supposed to leave to go to my lessons. And I, my dad sort of, like, gave the impression that I didn't really have to worry about the, the whole cop thing. So I just opened the door and attempted to exit the vehicle. Now, if you've ever had to deal with a cop, you know that exiting the vehicle is one thing that they do not like. So I exit the vehicle, I'm just like, alright, gotta go to my lessons or whatever, and the cop yells, freeze, leaps out of the vehicle, and points his gun at me, like, holy shit! I, like, stopped dead in my tracks, and, like, I didn't wet myself, but I totally could have. And if I did, I would have understood. Like, my future, future Mevin Ka would have totally understood if I just fucking peed my pants right there. Uh, I have my dignity still, and I can say that I did not, uh, need a new pair of shorts after this incident, but it, it was, it was, it was terrifying. And, uh, the worst part was that the cop, like, the cop came up to my dad and just, like, gave him a grill and was like, you know, I flashed my lights, like, why didn't you stop immediately? And my dad was like, he made up some shit about how we relate to my lesson, which we weren't, and how my how my, uh, my, like, uh, my teacher was, like, a cranky old woman, which she wasn't, uh, and that we needed to get here, like, as soon as possible, or else she'd be very upset, and then he asked the cop if I could just, like, leave now, and, uh, and the cop gave, like, a soul-piercing stare into my gut, um, I don't know why my soul's there, but hey, I eat a lot, so maybe that's what it is, um, he looks at me, and he goes, fine, and, kid you not, the closest I've ever been to personally feeling like I was about to die via cop. Uh, not that cops are bad, like, I don't, like, you know, hate cops or anything like that, it's just that was fucking scary. And, to be fair, it was entirely my fault, because I was an idiot and I fucking walked out of a car, um, while a policeman was there, and that's just something you don't do, um, especially if you've seen cops as much as I have, which is actually a joke, I don't watch cops, I'm not that trashy, um, if you could just give me the benefit of the doubt here. Wow, I, I'm just, like, not really paying attention because I'm talking so much. And, frankly, I don't care about a run where I play as this character, which is really bad. Like, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad YouTube etiquette. It really is. Like, I, I should get you guys some quality content here. Um, so hopefully we don't die here. But, I mean, you gotta admit, that story about the cop was kind of entertaining, right? 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 I don't know. Maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't like it. Maybe you thought just, Mevin Kyle, you're fucking stupid. I don't want to listen to you stream anymore. Why do I keep calling that? It's a YouTube video. No one's streaming anything. I'm not nearly intelligent enough to do that kind of stuff. Um, I do fancy myself a relatively intelligent person, just not savvy enough with, like, the YouTubes and the, the PC video game streams to, like, really do anything about that. Let's go! God, I hate these things. I don't know which ones are worse. These ones are the laser ones, because, oh god, I almost walked into those spikes. Okay. Oh god! <sighs> okay. Oh! Oh my god, I'm so scared. I don't know if you understand how scared I am, because I don't want to die, but I know that it's very possible. Okay, you're dead. Key. Bomb. Let's, let's keep moving, shall we? Wow, what? Why is my item not here? Come on. Throw the dog a bone, man. Stupid game. Oh, almost died right there. Thank goodness for little Chad. Little Chad spawns half red hearts every once in a while. One of the most useless items in the game, if you ask me. Um... Wow, when I had one heart, I should have gone to that mob trap room. Well, my damage isn't good enough. I probably would have just died. Um, see, this is just the problem with Eve. I don't understand how to strategically utilize her item set that she starts with because she doesn't have enough health to get hit a whole lot. But the only way she gets increased damage early on, unless she gets super lucky, is if she gets hit. And I'm just telling, I'm just saying, man, it's not, I don't, I don't like it. I'm going to use my, my best friend. Blow up. Thank you. Uh, that was, that was, good, good job. Good job, Mevin Ka. Proud of myself. Alright, let's go in the item room. It's a quarter, uh, which gives me 25 cents and nothing else. Sad day indeed. I could really use a damage upgrade. Nope. Not the secret room would be there. 
Uh, but if I was a bet man, I would say the secret room is over here. And I'm completely wrong, and that's embarrassing. Let's go to the shop, buy a map, buy a key, uh, get another penny back for our troubles. I guess we can go fight the boss then. I kind of want to go to the mob trap room, but I don't know what kind of items they're going to have in it. Um, here's what I'll do. There's a heart in the shop that I can buy, so I will fight this guy and almost certainly take about a heart of damage from him. I can just pretty much guarantee that it's going to happen at, in one way or another. Um, and once I take a heart of damage, I will just go to the mob trap room over there on the left and see what I can pos- oh my god, my death is very- oh god, we got serious frame rate drop right there. Um, forgot that this version of this boss spawns horrible, horrible things when he dies. I love the- there's like a gold version of this boss that like drops money when you kill it. That version is sweet. Oh, I didn't want that though. Aw, oh, come on game. I did not want that. Uh, I do want this HP upgrade though, because that way I'll finally stop whining about how awful my life is. Um, here's what I'll do. I'll walk on this spike uh, two times. I'll turn into the Whore of Babylon. Now here's the question. Do I pick up a half a heart on the way there? Yeah, I think I should. One heart, way too risky. Um, two heart, or half a heart, excuse me. Half a heart is way too risky. A whole heart, less so. I'm gonna go into this mob trap room. So for those who don't remember slash know, this door only opens if I have a heart or less. Oh, come on, man. I guess I'll pick it up so that way a boss won't drop it. And I got the, the curved horn, which is a trinket that does increase damage. So at least for a little bit, I'll be able to increase my damage. Oh, the monster is gonna jump and not hit me. Yeah, mob trap rooms early are pretty strategic just because the bosses are generally not that difficult. Like, I do not consider Monstro a difficult boss, even a little bit. Oh, no, oh, let's not be dumb here, Kevin. Let's not be stupid. Now, I want to be really careful not to pick up any of those items, except for maybe the blue heart. I can pick up the blue heart and be fine. But if I pick up anything else, well, I'll, okay, the coin too. But if I pick up anything else, I will, like, Zelda and hold it above my head and probably get hit by something. Which, you know, I'd rather avoid if I can help it. Uh, oh, my little chub is doing absolutely nothing because I'm terrible at shooting him. Oh, that was so smart. Go me. I barely got away with that one. Okay. Uh, tarot card. This is the two of spades. That doubles my keys. I thought I doubled my bombs, but I effed that one up. This pill, bad gas. Not that great. The chariot, um, I will definitely take the curved horn over the, the burnt penny because I just need the damage. Um, and I'll go buy, I don't actually need to buy a heart. I'll just go pick up one over here. And the chariot just gives you the little pony effect for one room. Um, so you get invincible, you hit stuff, you can do damage to it. Um, let's see here. So onwards to the next floor. I'm really sad that I missed that item room. I'm still butthurt about that because I really, really, really wanted it. But, you know, life doesn't always give you what you want. That's for damn sure. Um, let's go grab this and drop down the next floor. Poor Eve. Um, I've gotten into the habit of drinking a ton of Snapple lately. Uh, I drink a lot of Snapple. Oh no, we're getting the we're getting the glitch. So you just have to wait for a bit. The, the game glitches out every once in a while when loading the depths. Um, so I guess we just have to wait and hope that it doesn't actually die, um, because that'll be another way that our run will end very prematurely. There we go, white glitch. Everything looks freaky as shit, and we're just going to keep going. I forgot I got the map. Um, that's interesting. So let's go this way, because this looks promising. Yes, item room. Ah, not these guys. These guys are a pain. All right. Let's kill the body. Oh, their, their head's, like, severed from their bodies, because I didn't kill them very fast. That has not happened to me before. But whatever, man. Let's kill this. Let's kill this little thing. We don't, we don't want that there. That's just doesn't need to exist anymore. Wipe away his very being. All right. Let's go to the item room. We get Polyphemus, which is a huge damage upgrade, which is fantastic because uh, I really needed it. Um, wow, things are looking up a little bit now, for sure. Now, greed is not exactly something that I have to fight, but I definitely am going to because I can always use the extra money and I took no damage there. 
Uh, as to be expected from a player as highly skilled and refined as myself. Um, let's keep going. Any other crazy dreams? Like, you know, Scarlett Johansson was a pretty good story, I gotta say. I'm proud of myself. I, I, remember, to t I remember that story. Um, let's see here. Let's shoot some fat tears. Cry some fat tears at these flies. You know, the things that you end up saying when playing this game would freak out, like, anyone that didn't know anything about this game. Like, I'm just imagining, like, living in an apartment somewhere, and, like, my neighbors are, like, just hearing me, like, Cry on the poop, damn it! Cry on the poop! And they'll just be like, what? What is this guy doing? They'll report me to, like, you know, the police or something. Uh, oh, why did I go here? I'm the worst. Uh, you know, I'm gonna drop my best friend, because I want these things to all just blow up on, on it. Um... There we go. Hey, we got our health recharged. I'm a gambling man. I'm going to walk in here and pick up a troll bomb. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. But the chance of it being something awesome was just too low to pass up. And yes, I did mean to say low because it's not a very high chance that you get good stuff out of that room. It is not very high at all. Wow, did I actually get hit right there? I am just playing like garbage today, man. Um, see, the trick to dodging these things is just to keep moving. Um, generally, like, circular patterns I find are really useful because they're just always shooting at where you were. So as long as you're not there and you don't, you know, circle into a path of a different shot, you should be fine for the most part. Um, lots of this game can be resolved by circles, um, as I've discovered. Now, I guess I'm going to go up because I fought a mini-boss in the secret room, which means that if I find the shop, um... Oh my god, oh my goodness. How can one person be so bad at something that he wants to do and show off to everyone on the internets? It's probably one of the most judgmental places on the planet. Well, it's not really a place, but, uh, well, it's certainly not a place in the physical sense, but anyway. Bombs, bombs are good, bombs are very good. Uh, oh look, there's my, there's my shop. Um, if I wanted to, I could bomb into it instead of using one of my many, my many, my very few keys, rather, is what I meant to say. Um, oh my god, that chub shot was beautiful. Oh my god. Talk about not being beautiful is what I just did right there. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into this room. Uh, I'm going to blow him up. I forgot that I have two pretty flies, which does help me dodge. Um, it doesn't actually dodge, it just means that sometimes when they sh fire shots at me, They'll hit my pretty flies instead of my, like, actual body, and it won't do any damage to me, which is fantastic. Okay, let's go here, and let's use another bomb to go in here, and what does the shop have to offer me today? I would love to trade out my... Are you serious? Are you serious? Is it because I fought a mini-boss that I can't bomb out of it? Oh, it totally is. I totally forgot about that. Well, oh my god, the notched axe. Are you serious? That's terrible. Well, I guess I will buy the spirit heart. The notched axe just lets me blow, like, remove one rock. That's right. One rock. Worthless item. Please, if you're going to take an item out of Minecraft, at least make it useful. You know? I don't really play Minecraft, so I don't know what actually would be useful from that game in this game as an item. It's like reference, but, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of game references in this game. Well, now we are finally at our boss. Polyphemus is a good addition to our item loadout, but to be honest, it's probably not sufficient to win the whole game for us. So I'm going to have to do a little bit better. Uh, let's see, we're fighting Monstro 2. This is good. Monstro 2 is an incredibly easy boss fight because all I have to do is sort of just stand right here in front of him, and he'll always shoot these giant laser charge shots at me, which is fucking fantastic because it means I don't have to work very hard this boss fight. Oh, no, I didn't want him to jump. Come on! Shoot me! That's right, Monstro. You know you wanted it. No, I didn't want him to do that because now he's going to spawn a bunch of dudes. And that's the last thing that I want! Okay, good. Oh. See, he keeps lining- Oh my god. Why am I so bad, folks? Why am I so bad? Am I going to die here? No, I'm not. But I'm going to come close. More health! That's fantastic. Let's go backtrack and get up to full health again because I do not- want to not be at full health if I can help it. Um, I can also walk into that mob trap room, so let's take a look and see what's inside. Might be worth my time. Uh, you know, I have 11 bombs, and I have 5 keys, which is a pretty decent amount, so I'm not gonna bother, because 
Nothing that chest can give me will probably be worth the inevitable damage that I will take. Um, alright, now this room is useless and means nothing to me, but if I go this way, also useless. Uh, there is, however... Alright, I'm gonna put that bomb there. Good, it blew up both, that is exactly what I wanted. I got money for my trouble. Um, you know, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna blow my way into this room over here, because it might be useful. Uh, it is absolutely not useful. In, not even in the slightest bit useful to me. Oh, I did find my super secret room, though. That is useful. Who knows what secrets are unlocked, can be unlocked in this room. So let's take a look. The fish head, not interested. Fish head makes it so that, uh, I think on damage I spawn flies, which is cool and nifty, I guess, but, like, not, certainly not necessary. I'm the worst. I just took that like a man. Um, and by man, I mean an incredibly stupid man. Uh, which in a lot of cases is exactly what a man is. It's just a very stupid person. But, not always. I'm not an anti-man here. Alright. Let's go, uh, you know, now that I have that, that trinket space. So now I can hold two trinkets, which is fantastic. I will buy the spirit heart, and I will buy the key. Um, uh, and continue onward here. Now that I have this, I'm kind of tempted to go back into the super secret room and grab the fish head, but I guess I'll just wait and see maybe if... Alright, good, 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 good. I really wanted that to happen. I wanted them to blow up that guy for me because uh, otherwise... Oh, gotta use this because I am trapped in this fucking room and there's no way that I can avoid taking damage otherwise. Um, that was a good use of my chariot card. I am okay with what I just did there. Um, if I hadn't done that, there's a likely chance I would have taken damage of some sort. Alright, let's get our 10 cents back. Um, I actually don't think money is worth anything now, because I'm, I'm on the depths part 2, and after this... Oh, good. I want him to just run into spikes. Please. Please just run into spikes. Run into the spikes. Run into them, please. He, like, kills himself whenever he runs into the spikes. And that's just what I... I just, I just That's all I want him to do, man. There we go. Alright, now we gotta be extra careful here. Wow! That was not extra careful. Spider butt? Oh, eternal heart. That is useful. Oh, man, that sucks because... So here's here's the deal with the eternal heart. Um, wait, I think I've explained this once before, so hopefully I'll know already. If not, check out my other videos. Um, but in any case, I'm going to wait until I find my boss room to pick up that eternal heart. I guess I'm gonna stick with the best friend, even though it's a garbage item in my... Well, not garbage, but it's just not that great in my eyes. Um, but who knows? Maybe it'll save my ass. Uh, it is my best friend, after all. Um, you know, I really don't see my long-term chances being that high in this game. Just because I am Eve, I have four hearts, not very high damage, even though I have Polyphemus. I don't have great items. I have not been finding great items in the shops or item rooms. Um, alright, that was good. Blew up all those stupid things at once. Uh, okay. So, um, rotten meat, doing it. It's an HP upgrade. It is totally worth it. Helps me increase my chances for the future. Let's blow this guy up. Let's blow this guy up. Let's get these jumping jacks. That's what I like to call them, even though there ain't no jack about them. Uh, I don't know if that actually meant what I just said. Uh, I just said it. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Now I have no more spirit hearts, so if I pick up that eternal heart and take any damage in the mom boss fight, I am going to be royally screwed. Good job, little chub. That was fantastic. Go team. Well, you know, I might as well pick it up because if I do somehow manage to not take any damage on the mom's boss fight, or in fact just walking out of the of the of the room here. Then, <laughs> there we go. Uh, if I don't take any damage, there's the possibility that I will get an extra health upgrade. Um, if not, though, I guess I got one in the mob trap room, so things could be worse. Okay, let's go. Alright. Oh, gotta be careful. Okay. So far, so not terrible. I have not taken any damage yet. Which does surprise me somewhat. Alright, I'm gonna use this because... 
Oh, I took damage. The explosion of the thing that it blew up hit me and ruined everything forever. Which is a heartbreaking loss for me because I could really use that health upgrade. Wow, I'm just doing... Well, not super poorly, but poor enough. Uh... Okay, good. I killed... I killed my mother. Uh, let it be known that I love my mother and this game does not reflect my true feelings about my family members in any way, shape, or form. Time to drop down to the next floor. Really, really expect that I'm gonna die pretty soon here. I have five hits. Really bad damage. Oh my god, I hate Eve so much. Like, I can't blame this totally on Eve. Like, the troll engine kind of fucked me. It skipped me out on an item. I didn't get very good items. Oh. Oh my god, I walked into that. Okay, one no oh my god, where are you? Stupid underground cyst thing. Alright, I got a half heart, that's good. Half hearts are in fact incredibly useful in the womb and the cathedral because once you have the Polaroid, um, the only way you can get Polaroid invincibility is if you only have half a heart left at the end. And since everything does a whole heart of damage, if you have true full health, um, you'll never get down to a half heart because you'll die beforehand. And that just means you'll never get the Polaroid invincibility. So it is very useful, in fact, to uh, to be only at half heart. Um, wow. So much money. So very unuseful. Um, but anyway, what I was saying, yes. If you have a half heart, then there's more likely that you'll... Well, you will definitely get the Polaroid invincibility. See, I don't want to pick that up. Well, yeah, I don't want to pick that up because I will die in the same number of hits if I pick it up. The only difference will be if I pick that up, I won't get any invincibility when I get down to a half heart. Um, so, okay, see, now I can pick it up because it's a whole heart in the room. Uh, let's go this way and hope that it's not okay. It's not our boss. I hate these things, man. Especially when you don't do enough damage to kill them very fast. So, death is inevitable. I mean, it is anyway, but, like, in this game particularly, it is inevitable. Uh... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna survive. Boy, that was dark, man. That was fucking, like... That was some, that was some hard shit right there. Let's keep going before I just depress the fuck out of everyone who's watching. Um... Uh, oh, I just farted. I hope you didn't hear that, but... It's okay. Here in my own dorm room, I'm totally comfortable with doing whatever the hell I want. Okay, that's not true. I can't do everything that I want to do. Um... Let's see here. Uh, let's keep blowing up these dudes. These enemies are actually pretty easy. Um, those are not the worst. Boss room? Yes. Ah, oh, no. Not more of these flyer dudes. Oh, God. Make it stop. Make it stop. Okay. Half heart. Don't want it. We're going to go fight our boss now. It is Skolex, which I hate because I can only hit that butt bit of him, and it's very hard to hit that butt bit. Um... Oh shit! Oh, I almost, I almost hit myself right there. Skolex is also one of those bosses that makes my, um, my spacebar item completely useless. Oh my god, I got hit. Let's use my devil, um, my devil card to see if I can kill him a little bit faster. All right, almost there. Come on, Skolex, show me your worst. And did I time that right? Yes, I did. Oh god. Oh god. Sweet wounded Jesus. Yes. And for my troubles, I got Cat of Nine Tails, which increases shot speed, a very useless item because shot speed does not help you very much. There are a couple instances where your tears moving faster does help, um, but they're not going to be enough to make this a game-winning item by any stretch of the imagination. I cannot believe that I've lasted as long as I have with this terrible item set. Just god-awful. Um... So, I guess that's a, that's a go me thing. Uh, more money, you know, that's fantastic. I could really use, like, uh, you know, some of those items that I've just been getting so often in the secret room earlier. Uh, this was not the boss room. Is it worth using two keys to go in there? Probably not, because this... Oh, God, everything is dead forever. I'm gonna die here. If I don't die here, I'm a god. Oh! Oh! Oh, my good... Oh, my Jesus... I totally thought I was dead, and I am not dead yet. This room sucks so hard. I'm focusing so hard right now. I can't talk about anything except this game. Right now. Oh, okay. Wow. 
So what you just witnessed there, probably the best play I'll ever have for the rest of my life and anything that I ever do for the rest of my life forever. Like, that's how good it was. God, these mask things are a bitch. Okay. Let's, oh, let's take out, let's take out these, these heart things. Nope, that was, that was a bad chub shot. Chub shot. Uh, it's like a mug shot, but way more disgusting. Uh, so one of the things, speaking of chubs and maggots, uh, one of my friends who lives here on this floor, we all get compost bins, optionally, in the school that I go to, and her cluster slash roommates had not been taking out the compost, and one of them put meat in the, in the compost bin, like, a month and a half ago, and guess what she had to deal with when she took out her compost bin, like, two days ago? Fucking maggots. Fucking disgusting what that really is. I have two hits left on me before I die. Um, is this a full health pill? Health down! The troll engine is pulling no punches today. My goodness. Alright, let's kill this guy first. Oh. My survival has both- Oh! Holy shit! What just- Oh my god damn it. That was not what I wanted. Okay, let's go- heal up to two hits again. I will have I will have two hits from the Mo It Lives boss fight to kill it. Oh my god. This is terrible. I have to kill it. I do get my invincibility shield if I get down to one heart though. Which is probably going to happen very soon because I have not Come on! Just kill the eye! Alright, good. Please, just die. Please, just die. I- oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm throwing my bombs because they do, I think, pretty decent damage. I do not want to die to this guy. It's possible that I can still win. Oh shit, I stood too close. Now everything is definitely dead forever. Uh... I'm gonna drop my best friend so that the light eye lasers will hit the- OH FUCK! Ah! I can see that death in slow motion because I stopped for a split second. Well, you know, all things considered, I got a lot farther than I thought I was going to. Uh, I just got some just terrible items there. Um, but thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed these, uh, these Isaac runs. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time.